Okay, hi everybody, it's Professor Finley. And um, what we're going to do today is just take a really simple Pilates mat class. Um, a lot of us have not moved very much in the last several days. We've been under a tremendous amount of stress and uncertainty. And today we're gonna make it a little bit more therapeutic and uh, stick to the familiar. We can always build from there, all right? Um, uh, just a note about no props today. We may use props going on into the future, but today we're just gonna keep everything really simple. I am gonna play a little bit of background music today. I'm kind of playing with the idea of not doing that in the future if you guys would like to make up your own playlists. All right, here we go. Getting some music on. Okay, I think we're gonna start with a much needed little body scan. So just get into your most comfortable neutral position, whatever that is for you, and go ahead and close your eyes. Just take a moment to tune out the stresses of the outside world, outside distractions and outside thoughts, and bring your awareness deeply inside of your body. And let's all bring our attention right up to the crown of the head. Just see what you're noticing in that region of the body today. If you're noticing any tense muscles, any stuck stress, any tension, feelings of anxiety and worry, whatever you're feeling, just let it all go and release. Let's bring our awareness now to the muscles of our face. Feel the muscles of your forehead, the little muscles around your eyes, your cheeks and your jaw. If you're noticing any clenching, any tightness, any squinting of the little muscles around your eyes, any furrowing of your forehead, let those muscles melt and release. Bring your awareness now around to the back of your head and those little muscles right at the base of your skull. And once again, if you're noticing any clenching or any tightness, any sensations of anxiety or worry in that region of the body, do your best to let them release, relax, and let go. Let's bring our awareness now to the muscles of our neck. See if we're noticing any neck strain. See if that neck strain is causing our heads to maybe tilt or shift right or left, forward or back. If you're sensing any sensations of strain or tightness, go ahead and let those muscles relax. Bring your awareness now to the muscles right at the base of your neck, right above your shoulders. See if you're noticing any clenching of those muscles, any sensation that your shoulders are traveling upwards towards your earlobes. If you're noticing any strain in those muscles, do your best to let them drop, relax, and release. If it helps to take a little shoulder roll or a little neck roll to release some of that tension, go ahead and do so. Bring your awareness now to the muscles all the way along your spine. Travel all the way up from the back of your neck down through the muscles between your shoulder blades, your upper back, your mid back, and the muscles right behind your hips. If you're noticing any gripping or tension in those muscles, any sensation that perhaps your shoulder blades are riding up the back of your rib cage, again, towards your earlobes, let all those muscles just soften, drop, and release. Bring your awareness now around to the front of your body, the muscles of your chest and your abdomen. If you're noticing any clenching of those chest muscles, maybe pulling your shoulders forward, kind of hunching your upper back, try to let those muscles soften, relax. If it helps to take a little shoulder roll and draw your shoulders back and down, go ahead and do so. Try to relax the muscles of the belly. Just let them release and let go. Bring your awareness now to the muscles around your hips, your hip flexors in front and your gluteal muscles behind. If you're noticing any gripping in those muscles, Go ahead and let them relax and release. If it helps to shift your body position slightly to try to achieve a little bit better neutral position right up on those sits bones, go ahead and do so. Make sure there's no tension in your arms, no gripping in your fingers. Just let those arms rest heavy down on your thighs. Bring your awareness now down to your base of support. Take a moment to really feel the floor taking the weight of your body and really feel your body melt and sink into the floor. And let's just all take a moment to really appreciate that feeling of being very grounded and very connected to the floor and very physically and mentally present in this moment. And now I want you to just take a moment to tune into your natural breath pattern today. How is your breathing? 
you breathing deeply? Or is your breathing a little bit more shallow, a little bit more restricted? Maybe you feel like you're breathing into your chest or into your throat. Just notice what you're feeling. And now we're gonna do a little bit of our breath work. So I want everyone to take a nice big inhale, breath through the nose. And all I want you to do for this first one is press that air down very deep into the base of your lungs. Feel that downward pressure, feel that expansion. Hold that breath for just a moment at the top. And then exhale through your mouth and try to completely release all that air out. Let's take that once again, nice deep breath in through the nose, pressing the air down deep into the lowest lobes of the lungs, really increasing that lung capacity. Hold it for just a moment. Exhale through your mouth to release it all the way back out. Let's go into our diaphragmatic belly breath this time. Take a nice deep inhale, breath through the nose, pressing the air down deep into the base of the lungs, but this time also letting the belly muscles push outward and extend. And then feel the belly deflate, feel the abdominal wall flatten towards your spine. Another nice big diaphragmatic inhale breath, really push the belly out, feel that sense of relaxation and release. And then once again, press that air back out, feel the belly deflate, feel the abdominal wall flatten towards the spine. Let's move into our more lateral breath this time, guys. Keep the abdominal wall flat, take an inhale breath, this time breathing into the sides and back of the rib cage feeling that stretch through the intercostal muscles. And then out through that imaginary straw, breathing up, pressing all of that air back out and starting to feel that nice recruitment of the transversus abdominis. And we'll take that again, big inhale, breath through the nose, really feel the expansion. Imagine the rib cage expanding like a giant balloon. And exhale through those pursed lips and feel that nice engagement, that shrinking and narrowing of the waist and that gentle lift now to the pelvic floor as well. Let's go on. We're gonna start with another lateral inhale breath. Just nice and big. This time as you exhale through that imaginary straw, I want you to tilt your collarbones gently toward your chin towards your collarbones and round your head, neck, and upper back over your leg position. Take another inhale breath and really feel the upper back open. Exhale deeply, feel those deep core stabilizers engage. Inhale once again, really feel the upper back stretch and open, it should feel kind of good. And then exhale as if you have an imaginary wall behind your back, roll and stack your spine up that wall until you're sitting nice and tall on those sits bones, back to a beautiful neutral position, and then I'm gonna have everyone just open their eyes. Let's continue a little bit, guys. Start with some just gentle, small shoulder rolls right now. Just gentle. Let's take them up and back and down. Good, now I want you to increase them and slow them down. So really exaggerate, bringing them up, sending them back and gently pressing them down. We'll bring them forward again and up and back and down as if you have a little marker, magic marker on either shoulder. You're drawing big circles. Good, let's take just a couple more, really mobilizing the shoulder girdle. And we'll take one more. Let's go in the opposite direction. Just start small. We're bringing them up and forward and down and back more. Now we'll slow down and exaggerate and make them bigger. So we're really drawing them down, bringing them back and then up towards the earlobes and forward and down and back. Just big shoulder rolls. Just starting to warm up the joints. Good. And let's take one more. Nice, guys. We're going to do a little neck release. So I want you to tilt your head over to the right and just create a nice space between your earlobe 
and the top of your shoulder. Just feel that increase. Make sure there's no tilt to the head, that you're just truly laterally flexing the cervical spine. And then I want you to take your right arm and just stretch it out and really press the heel of your hand away from your earlobe. And just breathe into that. Just breathe deeply, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's go on, guys. Inhale. As you exhale, we're just to point your fingers down and in. And then inhale, flex them up. And exhale. And inhale. A couple more. Exhaling. And inhaling. And exhaling and inhaling, just hold, just keep breathing into that stretch, and then come all the way up. You should feel that nice rush of blood flow through that side of the neck, really feel the difference between the two sides. Let's take that to the other side. So now we're gonna take the head over to the right. And then just take the opposite arm and just reach it out, sending the heel of the hand away from the earlobe. Breathing into that stretch. Good. Just inhaling and exhaling. Let's go on. Inhale, exhale to point those fingers down and in and then inhaling and exhaling and inhaling, exhaling, and really pulling those fingers up as you inhale one more time, exhaling, inhaling, just continue to breathe into that stretch just a couple more times, good guys, and then just come all the way up, looks good, okay. Let's go on and do a little bit of scapular retraction and protraction. So I want you to reach your arms out to the side, and then it's almost as if you're going to try to create a circle with those arms behind your back. So I'm reaching fingertip to fingertip behind my back, really opening up my stretch, opening up the pectoral muscles and opening up the chest. Now I'm going to wrap my right arm on top, left arm on the bottom, and it's like I'm giving myself a giant hug. And then we'll open again, reach the fingertips towards each other behind your back. And now the left arm on top. And then reach and right arm. And then reach and left arm. Let's add a little bit of thoracic extension this time. And then flexion as we come in and then extension and flexion and reaching and forward and one more and in good guys let's go into a little bit of lateral flexion of the spine so i want everyone just to take uh, their right hand place it on the mat take their left arm up and reach over to the side. You can kind of crawl those fingers away from the body, get a nice lateral stretch. And then up, we'll go to the opposite side, bringing the arm up and reaching over to the side. Good, and up, and once again, bringing that left arm up and reaching. You should feel a nice stretch through the side of the rib cage and the waist and up. And then once again, over and up. Good guys, let's go into a little bit of rotation. So I'm gonna have you take the left arm, reach it forward, and almost give a little bit of rotation in the spine right now. And then send it way up, reaching the fingertips towards the ceiling, almost feeling stretch through the side of the rib cage and through the upper arm. And then rotate and actually look behind you and then draw the arm and kind of drag the back of the wrist through your mat. And then we'll go again. Forward and up and spiral back and drag the wrist through. And again, rotate forward, reach way up, extend
send those fingers up through the ceiling. Rotate back and press the shoulder down as you come through. Let's take one more and up and rotate back and come back to center. Let's take the opposite side, guys. Reaching, lengthening up. Big stretch once again and then spiral the body back. Actually look behind you and then through. We'll go again, reaching and up and spiraling back and through. Let's take a couple more. Really feel that spinal rotation. Feel that big stretch through the shoulder girdle as well. And we'll drag through. And let's take one more. And up. And reach back. And come through. Oh, wow. I don't know about you, but I haven't moved that way in a few days. And that felt amazing, guys. Okay, we're going to get ready to move on. Okay, everybody, we're gonna continue with our supine warm-up. So I'm gonna have everybody turn towards the right, all right? Come forward on your mat. So you have plenty of mat behind you when we roll to our backs. Create your beautiful Pilates stance with your legs. So we've got that 90 degree bend at the knees. Our kneecaps are pointing up, our toes are pointing forward. We're holding on behind the thighs and using that to leverage ourselves up to a beautiful neutral position. I'm right on top of my sits bones. Let's take an inhale breath. As we exhale, remember, we're gonna start by spinning the pelvis back. That's gonna give us that posterior pelvic tilt and some lumbar flexion. So that as we walk our hands back down our thighs, we can really feel the lumbar spine create that imprint, and then the lower, the mid, and the upper thoracic spine gently roll, and we only release that little chin nod when our heads rest on our mats. Let's walk our heels in slightly towards our sits bones, all right? And just take a moment to kind of settle into a neutral spine position, okay? And now let's do a quick little body scan to really make sure that we are in that neutral spine position. So I want us all to make sure that we're feeling that sense of heaviness and connection through the back of the head with the majority of our weight resting right behind the bridge of our noses. Let's bring our awareness down to the back of the neck. Make sure we're feeling that gentle cervical curve. Bring your awareness down to your, the back of your rib cage and your thoracic spine. Get that sense of heaviness and connection and really try to feel the bottom third of the rib cage and the thoracic spine pressing and connecting gently into your mat. Now we're gonna bring our awareness down to our lumbar spine. Make sure we're feeling that slight lumbar extension right behind the belly button. Now let's bring our awareness down to the back of the pelvis and make sure that the sacrum and the coccyx are connecting and melting down into our mats. And that our ASIS, or our hip bones and our pubic bone, are forming that horizontal plane, right? Make sure your arms are resting heavy down by your sides, no tension in the arms, no tension in the fingers. The shoulders and the upper back are gently pulling away from the center of our spine to create a nice wide upper back. And we've got that gentle sense of heaviness, right? Through the back of the, um, through across the front of the rib cage. All right, let's do a little bit of breathing to get started. So let's take a nice big deep lateral inhale breath through the nose. And as you exhale through those pursed lips, I really want you to draw in on those waist muscles, find the transversus abdominis and see that, feel that lift to the pelvic floor. Let's go into a little bit of rib cage stabilization. Next, inhale breath, float the arms and fingertips up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, recruit the transversus in the pelvic floor, send the arms up over your head towards the wall behind you. Inhale, float the fingers up and exhale, float them back down to your hips. Let's take that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach up and over your head to the wall behind you. Inhale up and exhale, float back down. Just keep that breath pattern going, guys. Go at your own pace. Remember, in this exercise, what we're trying to do is really feel the stability of the rib cage and the thoracic spine as we mobilize the arms. So we want to feel that nice downward connection of the rib cage and the thoracic spine into the mat each time as we reach the arms up overhead. Let's take it one more time, inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and exhaling. Let's try one more, guys. Inhale, float the arms up. 
Exhale, reach them wide out to the sides and then bring them back up with the inhale breath. Exhale, reach beyond the wall, side to side and up, creating a little bit of opposition, fingertip to fingertip as you reach those arms and up at the entire time. The front of the rib cage stays heavy, the back of the rib cage stays connected to your mat. Let's take two more and up and one more, keeping the breathing going and up and then just float those arms back down by your sides, guys. Good, let's move on. Start with your inhale breath and just really feel your neutral spine position. As you exhale this time, I want you to keep your gluteal muscles soft, contract your abdominal muscles and press into imprint. Inhale, really feeling those little lumbar vertebrae connect to your mat. And then exhale, release back to your neutral spine position. Let's go on and do a little bit of tabletop work. So let's inhale. Exhale, recruit the abdominals, contract the obliques and the rectus abdominis, press into imprint. Then I want you to squeeze your glutes. With your next inhale breath, I want you to peel your right foot, heel ball toe, up to tabletop. And then exhale breath, heel ball toe, up to tabletop. We're gonna go into some little marches. So let's take an inhale to prepare. As you exhale, dip that right toe towards your mat, and then inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, left and up. So just little marches, keeping that nice 90 degree bend to your knees the entire time, trying to maintain your imprint, really feeling those abdominal muscles load and then unload as you march. We'll go again right and up and left and up and last time with the right and last time with the left. Good job, guys. Let's join our knees, ankles, and big toes together. Sweep our arms out to the side, just slightly lower than our shoulders, and go into spine twist supine. So really feel your imprint spine position. Take an inhale breath. Send your knees over to the right to about that two o'clock mark on your imaginary clock. And then exhale, send the knees straight back up towards the ceiling. Take another inhale breath. This time we send the knees over to the left to about the 10 o'clock mark on our clock and then straight up. Make sure we're gonna go again to the right. Make sure you're feeling that nice downward pressure through both shoulders, right into the mat behind you and up and over to the left and up. Each time you come up, really feel your imprint spine. We're gonna go again over to the right and up, feeling that imprint and then over to the left and up. Let's do it one more time each side, guys, adding a little challenge. Let's try to go a little bit beyond two o'clock and then really find our imprint. Use the backs of the shoulders. Let's go over to the left and up. Great job with that, guys. Sweep your arms back down by your sides. Take an inhale breath, lower your right foot, toe ball, heel into your mat. Exhale, left foot, toe ball into your mat and just adjust if you need to. Right, to find that nice neutral position. We're gonna go on now, we're gonna do a little bit of our pelvic curl into bridge. This one always feels good. So make sure you're in a beautiful neutral spine position. Take a big lateral inhale breath. As you exhale, I want you to contract your abdominal muscles and press into imprint. Now we're going into that sequencing. So now I want you to squeeze your glutes and starting with your tailbone, peel one vertebrae at a time up into your bridge position. Let's all inhale at the top as we reach our knees away from our shoulders. And then exhale, we're gonna soften through the back of the rib cage, articulating the spine one vertebrae at a time through imprint and back to neutral. We'll take that again, inhale. Exhale, we're thinking contracting abdominals and then glutes and then hamstrings, rolling up into bridge inhaling at the top to make sure those hips are nice and high but the ribs are gently closed and then exhale roll back down inhaling and exhaling abdominals glutes hamstrings we roll up inhale feeling that stretch at the top exhale rolling back down let's add a little bit of a challenge guys with some marches inhale exhale abdominals glutes hamstrings rolling up 
We're going to inhale at the top. As you exhale, I want you to press down through the sole of that left foot and release the right leg up to a tabletop position. And then inhale, bring it back to your mat. And then we'll march that left leg up and place it on the mat. And let's take right. This entire time, just keep going. We're gonna feel the stability of the torso. No rocking, no shifting. We're not going to let those hips drop. We're not going to let the rib cage or thoracic spine flare or pop open. We'll go again with the left and again with the right and left. And one last time with the right, we can do this. And one more time with the left. Take an inhale at the top and really feel that clean bridge position. And then exhale one more time. This should feel really good. Go slow, articulate your spine back down. Really feel your imprint and release back to neutral spine position. Excellent, guys. Let's go into our little abdominal prep or chest lift work. So I want you to inhale and nod your chin towards your collarbones. And then exhale. Stare straight up towards your ceiling. Inhale, little chin nod, creating a little cranial cervical flexion. And then exhale, come back to a neutral neck position. Inhale, nod. This time we're gonna come up into a little chest lift, little curl. Inhale at the top, you're reaching your fingertips towards the wall in front of you. You're still in neutral spine position. Exhale, roll back down. Let your arms float back to your mat. Let's take that again. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, articulating up into your low curl. Inhale, hold. Exhale, rolling back down. Let's go on this time, guys. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the side behind your head, and then exhale, roll back down. We're going to do a quick elbow check. I want you to make sure that you can see your elbow points out of the corners of your eyes, right through your peripheral vision, but that it doesn't feel like you're hugging your head. You're in neutral spine position. Here we go. We're gonna inhale, prepare. Exhale, nod our chins and roll up. Inhale, roll back. And two, roll back. Let's go to 10, three. We can do this. And four. Keeping our form, five. Keep checking your elbows, six. And seven, make sure you're in neutral. Eight and nine. And as you lower this 10th one, I want you to bring your right leg up to tabletop and you're gonna keep going. One and two and three and four. And five, we're gonna add a little bit of rotation this time, sending the sternum towards the right femur, rotating, and then coming back to center to roll back. And two, and three, and four. We're gonna stay up after this fifth one. We're gonna stay up, come back to center, take an inhale breath, exhale pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's inhale at the top, exhale as you roll back, lower that right leg and articulate your foot back to your Pilates stance. Let's peel the left foot up, here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. I need a little bit of rotation, sternum towards the left femur, and rotate back. Really think sternum instead of elbow. All right, so you're really rotating from the thoracic spine. And four, we're gonna hold this fifth one up, rotate back to center and pulse for 10. 10, nice and small. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll all the way back down, guys, good. Take your hands from behind your head, lengthen them down by your sides. Give yourself just a couple of nice, very deep breaths. And today, let's just roll. Roll towards your camera, roll towards the screen, and just come right over on to our stomachs now into our prone position. And let's go right away now into some of our back extension prone work. I think this is gonna feel really good for our backs right now, guys, because we've all been spending a lot of time probably in front of screens and kind of really hunched forward. So this is gonna really open up the chest and work those upper back muscles, all right? So legs are lengthened behind you, toes gently pointed, 
right? We're gonna go into our goal post position of our arms, so make sure your bend is about, out and your elbow is about 90 degrees or slightly less. Remember, hands no higher than the crown of your head. I want you to feel your co-contraction, draw your belly button muscles away from your mat a little bit. Feel a little bit of activity in the glutes and the backs of the legs, but no, no gripping. And a nice sense of downward pressure through your forearms and through the palms of your hands. Remember, we start back extension prone with active upper back muscles, all right? Foreheads down on our mats, ready, here we go. We're gonna take an inhale breath. As we exhale, we're gonna create a little bit more length between the crowns of our heads and the tips of our toes. We're gonna to press down through our arms and palms and come up into extension. Inhale at the top and exhale to articulate back down. Let's take that again, inhaling and exhaling. Really feel that increased length. Feel the downward pressure through the arms and palms. Good, only thing remaining on our mat right now are our bottom ribs as we inhale. Exhale to roll back down. Couple more guys, inhale. Exhale, lengthening and up. Inhale, make sure not too much extension through the back of the neck and exhale to articulate back down. One more time, inhale and exhale, reach. Inhale, really open up the chest, open up the collarbones and exhale to articulate back down. Go ahead and extend your arms now, right down by your sides with your palms facing inward. Make sure the front of your shoulders and your arms are lifted up and away from your mat. Same exercise, new arm position, inhale. Exhale, really reach the crown of the head through the wall in front of you, come up into extension. Inhale, reaching your fingertips towards the wall behind you, and then exhale, rolling back down again, inhale and exhale, lengthening and reaching up. Inhale at the top, open those collarbones. Exhale, roll back down. Let's do one more slow, guys. Inhale, exhale, reaching, extending up. Inhale, no strain in the neck. Exhale, float back down. Now we're gonna move more consecutively. Let's come up with the inhales and down with the exhale. And we'll go two, release, and Three, I'm feeling a set of eight, guys. And four, I hope you're feeling the same thing. Here we go. And five. And six, We're almost there, guys. And seven, this is gonna be our last one. Let's reach up, sweep the arms out to the sides, stack them underneath your forehead, and float all the way back down. Let's go and do some hover spine work, right? So now I want us all to relax our upper backs almost get a sense of protraction or separation through the shoulder blades, okay? Still feeling your co-contraction, still a little bit of activity in the glutes and hamstrings, right? For this one, okay? Let's take an inhale breath. As we exhale, we're going to gently retract the scapula and lengthen into our hover spine position. So remember, not a lot of lift to this one, mostly about length. Inhale at the top, Exhale, float back down and really let your upper back relax in between. Inhale, exhale, retract the scapula, lengthen to hover spine. Inhale, exhale, float back down. Couple more guys, inhale. Exhale, feel the scapula draw down and together, lengthen to the hover spine. Inhale, exhale, float back down. One more set, inhale and exhale lengthening, inhaling at the top, exhaling to float back down. Let's go into a little heel squeeze this time, guys. So I want you to open your legs just about as wide as your mat, maybe just a little bit wider. Laterally rotate or turn your legs out, bend your knees and bring your heels together. Squeeze your heels together gently, feel your co-contraction and now press the front of your pelvis, so your ASIS and your pubic bone, down towards your mat as we start this one. Okay, we're going to take an inhale breath. As we exhale, we're going to uh, engage our glutes, squeeze our heels together, and gently lift the thighs up and away from your mat. Inhale at the top, exhale, release. Couple more guys, inhale and feel your co-contraction. As you exhale, Front of the pelvis presses down, the glutes engage, the heels squeeze, and we lift those thighs up. Inhale at the top, exhale, release. Let's do two more, inhale, 
and exhale. Think co-contraction, pelvis down, glute squeeze, heel squeeze. Inhale at the top, exhale to release. One more set, guys. Inhale and exhale. Glutes engage, heel squeeze, lift those thighs up. Inhale at the top and exhale to release. Good, guys. Just stretch those legs out. Bring them together. Just right underneath you. Slide your hands to your shoulders. Press back into your shell stretch. I'm just going to adjust so I stay in my camera a little bit. Okay, let's take a nice big inhale breath in our shell stretch, pulling our abdominals up and away from the tops of our thighs, and then exhale, slowly roll and stack your spines. Hey guys, why don't we go right into the 100 right now? So I'm just gonna turn and face this way. Maybe everyone can just do the same so we're all facing the same direction, okay? All options are on the table today, obviously, for our 100. So you can use your Pilates stance. You can use your tabletop legs for the entire set. You can use your tabletop extended legs, or you can keep your legs in extension the whole time. Make your choice, right? Go easy on yourselves, especially if you haven't moved for a while. Okay, we're gonna take our entire set of 100 and then come back to either Pilates stance or tabletop and only a set of five chest lift high curl at the end today, guys. We'll go a little bit easier. All right, here we go. I'm going to demonstrate tabletop extend today. Do what's right for your body, okay? So let's all roll into our supine position, okay? And make our choice with our legs. Okay, I'm gonna bring mine up to tabletop and I'm gonna bring my knees, ankles, and big toes together. I want us all, no matter what leg position we're doing, to feel our imprint spines, and not just imprint, but that sensation that the abdominal wall is really flattening down towards your spine. Arms are down by your sides, they're energized and they're strong, your collarbones are open, your armpit muscles are active. Here we go. Take your inhale breath, exhale, gently nod your chin, roll up to your high curl position. Choose your legs, get those arms going with strength, and here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, ten. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, twenty. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, thirty. Imprint, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, forty. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, fifty. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, sixty. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, seventy. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, eighty. In, two, three, four, five, so close, two, three, four, ninety. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, one hundred. Come back to tabletop, guys. Here we go. And reaching, tiny release. And exhale, and inhale. Make sure the abdominal wall is really flat. Good guys, just two more, and two more, and one more. You made it guys, roll all the way back. Just hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock your spine side to side a couple times to release. And then let's all roll towards our screens, okay? And come on up, okay. We're gonna go into a little series that we've done several times before. We're gonna go into spine twist sitting, and then right away into saw, and then right away into spine stretch forward. So let's choose our options for uh, spine twist sitting today. You can either remain sitting with your legs crossed and folded in in front of you, or what I'm gonna to try to do today is extend my legs out, right? Just a little bit wider than my shoulders, toes flexed up and back, all right? Let's all reach, we don't have bands today, right? So let's reach those arms way out to the side, just slightly in front of your shoulders, and really feel some nice opposition, fingertip to fingertip. You wanna make sure you're right up on top of those sits bones, and your spine is beautifully strong and neutral. Let's take an inhale breath, and then exhale, all rotate to the right. One, and two, and three, inhale back to center. Little exhale puffs, and and, and inhale, and, 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 and inhale, and reach, and two, and three. Now let's add an elbow. So you're gonna bend your right elbow as you reach, two, three, and then send both arms out and bend that elbow, one, two, three, 
and reach. Two more, one, two, three, and then open those arms. One more, one, two, three. Let's go in the opposite direction to the left now. One, rotating two, getting taller. Three, inhale, return, and reaching, spiraling up, and three. Return, keep the opposition through the arms. One, and two, and three. Rotate back, one more set, and two, and three. Let's add that elbow. So now it's the left elbow that bends. And two, and three. Kind of helps to increase the rotation. One, two, three. Helps us feel the strength of the upper back. We'll go one, two, three. And reach one more, one, two, three, and reach. If you chose to keep your legs folded in, Go ahead and extend them out like ours, right? And we're gonna go into soft. So let's reach our arms out to the sides. Palms are facing forward this time. Take an inhale breath and rotate. Exhale, slice off that baby toe. Remember the palm of this hand is facing the wall behind you. And then rotate back to center. And reach, you should get that nice stretch right along the spine and right through the hamstrings as well and back to center, and reach, and center, and good, feel that length, and center, and reach, let's take one more rep to each side guys, and pressing, and reaching, good guys, all right, keep your feet flexed, feet, keep your legs extended, bring your fingertips just right to the inside of your leg position, Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, nod your chin forward, articulate your spine, slide your fingers out, right? And into that nice stretch. Take an inhale, see if you can reach your fingertips just a little bit further. And then exhale, roll and articulate your spine up to neutral. Inhale, exhale, nod your chin, slide those fingers forward. Inhale, try to reach a little bit further. And then exhale, slowly articulate your spine up that imaginary wall behind you. Inhale, exhale, nod the chin, slide the fingers out. Inhale, increase that stretch. And exhale, roll back up. This feels so good, guys. Let's take this one more time. Inhaling, exhaling, reaching, inhaling, and exhaling to come all the way back. Good guys, that was a nice release. Let's go into a little bit more abdominal work. So the next series we're going to do is one we know as well. We're gonna go into our half rollback. back. We'll all turn and face this way. Our half rollback, our obliques rollback, right? And then full roll up. So no props today, but that's okay. These exercises can definitely be done without all the props. We'll maybe add some in as we go on with future sessions. Okay, so right now I want everybody in their Pilates stance, right up on top of your sits bones, reach your arms forward as if you're holding on to one of our blue flex balls, we're not, but set, get that same kind of sensation. And then send your spine into your C curve, right? So that nice spinal flexion all the way from the tailbone, all the way up through the cervical spine and the back of the head. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, increase your lumbar flexion, spin the pelvis back, and we're gonna go into our half roll back position. And then inhale to come back up and over. And again, exhaling and inhaling. Really feel that tailbone pull through each time. And scooping the pelvis under. Good guys, think a little bit about sending the belly button back through your spine and over. Let's see if we can do a tuck couple where we get just a little deeper. Good, and then one more. Deep, let's add some arms to this one. Let's just roll to the half roll back position. Lift the arms, lower them, and scoop forward. Pull back, lift the arms, lower the arms, and send the body over. Pull back, lift the arms. Looking good, guys, lower the arms, and over, one more, reach, lift those arms, lower and over. Look good, guys. Come all the way up to your sits bones, find your neutral spine position once again, and we're gonna go into half roll back. 
Right, so we're starting in a nice stacked spine position. Let's send our fingers and arms out in front of us. Arms just slightly lower than our shoulders. When we take our first obliques roll back, let's all turn towards our screen so we're all going in the same direction. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, scoop the pelvis under, spin it back, start to go into your half roll back, and then rotate. I'm looking back towards my fingers and then up to my stack position. And reaching, and up, and exhaling, and inhaling. Really draw that back arm all the way back, guys and up. Draw it out as long as you can. And up. And reach. And up on those sits bones. Good. Reaching back and pulling all the way back up. And reaching. And up. Let's take one more in each direction. Big obliques roll back. And up. And one more time. Come all the way back up. Send your legs out in front of you, right? Toes flex back towards you. Tall on your sits bones. Hold on to your imaginary flex ball once again. Let's all take an inhale breath. As you exhale, start to spin the pelvis back. Find your imprint and roll all the way back into your supine position. Reach those arms up over your head. Remember your rib cage stabilization and your thoracic stability, guys. Here we go. Into roll up. Inhale, reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. Big exhale breath. We can do this up and over. Inhale, start to roll back. Exhale, roll back all the way. Let's inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take one more, guys. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Good job, guys. I'm feeling like it's time for some side leg series. So let's all roll over onto our sides. Beautiful. We'll all face the same direction. Choose the position of your bottom arm. Remember, arm can be extended or elbow can be bent. I'm gonna bend my elbow today and bring my top arm just right in front of my rib cage. Right, I'm in a beautiful stacked position from the crown of my head right through the tips of my toes, like I have a maypole right down the center of my body. I have a little bit of squeeze to my inner thighs as well. Let's take an inhale breath and bring that top leg up. Exhale, flex your foot, squeeze your inner thighs together. Articulate that top foot back to a pointed toe, inhaling and exhaling. Just a couple more, guys. Inhaling and exhaling. Remember the torso stays very still throughout this exercise. I'm really right now just mobilizing my leg in my hip socket, All right? Nothing else really moving. The pelvis is very neutral. It's very stable. Good, and let's take about four more. Really lengthening that leg each time. Lengthen and bring it up. And then really reach through the heel as you bring it down. And reach it up. And remember, we're not dropping the leg. We're squeezing it in. We're getting that concentric contraction and that eccentric return. Good, guys. Let's all bring the top leg up and hold it. Take an inhale breath at the top. And as you exhale, circle. And two. And three. Looking good, guys. Torso stable, four, and five. Let's circle in the opposite direction, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Keep the leg where it is. Let's exhale, bring the bottom leg up, inhale, release, and two, and three. Very controlled, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Looks good, guys. Flex your top foot. Go into a little bit of internal rotation. Bring your heel up just slightly higher than your baby toes. Let's pulse for 20. Inhale, exhale, pulsing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more set, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Articulate that top foot, squeeze your inner thighs together, fold your knees in towards your chest, take your top hand, just tap out that hip. Ooh, haven't done that one in a few days. Feels good to move though, doesn't it guys? Okay, let's crawl on up and just do it to the other side. Here we go. Okay, everybody, we're on the opposite side, getting ready to go. Here we go. Give me a nice inhale breath and lengthen and lift that top leg until you feel that little catch through the side of the hip. And then exhale, flex and squeeze the inner thighs together. Articulate the top foot once again and lift and lower. Good, guys. Beautiful, clear movement. Really feeling the isolation of that leg in the hip joint, feeling the stability of the torso. Imagine that top leg is just lengthening a little bit more with each repetition. Good, keep the movement smooth. Starting to feel it just a little bit now. Kind of feels good. Get those muscles working again. Let's take three more. Beautiful quality now, two more. And we're gonna hold this last one at the top. Take an inhale breath, exhale. Beautiful flow to those circles, beautiful precision. Use the exhale breath each time. Let's circle forward now. One, and two, and three, and four, and last one, five. Hold the leg right where it is. Squeeze that bottom leg up to meet the top leg and release. Let's think about that image that I use sometimes about being between two panes of glass, right? That body is in just a beautiful lateral position and then just gliding those legs right up between those two panes of glass each time. Connecting the inner thighs and releasing just four more. And let's do three more. And two more. And last one. Good, guys. Okay, flex that top foot. Lift the heel just slightly higher than the baby toe, getting a little bit of internal rotation. Take an inhale breath, and we'll exhale and finish our set by pulsing for 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three more, final two, last one, articulate your top foot, squeeze the inner thighs together, and once again, fold those knees in towards your chest, and tap out that hip. Oh, that was a good set. All right, guys, come on up. We're gonna go into classic shoulder bridge. We did this last session. It's a good one. It'll get us started before we mark, start making these a little bit harder. All right, so let's just roll back into our supine position. Okay, remember, this one starts in neutral spine and maintains neutral spine throughout, okay? So I'm in my nice neutral spine position. Legs and feet are in my Pilates stance. Collarbones and shoulders nice and wide. Let's take an inhale breath. As we exhale, draw in on the transversus abdominis, feel the pelvic floor, squeeze your glutes, and just come right up into that beautiful neutral shoulder bridge position. As we inhale, let's press down through the left foot, take the right leg through tabletop, and extend that big toe towards the ceiling. Here we go, just three kicks today. We'll exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, through tabletop, press it into the floor. Inhale, breath, release the opposite leg up. Here we go, exhale, inhale. Make sure you're keeping those hips nice and high. Ribs gently closed for each rep, through tabletop. Toe ball heel into your mat, release the opposite leg. Here we go, exhale, inhale, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling through tabletop. Press it into your mat, keep those hips high, reaching with that left leg, lowering and lifting, two and three, 
through tabletop. One more set each leg, guys, and that'll be it. Through tabletop, extend it up. Keep your hips high, don't let them drop. And two, and three. Through tabletop, press into your mat, and last breath with the left side. Reaching, and two, and three. Through tabletop, press it into your mat, Give yourselves an inhale breath and just really feel that bridge position. Squeeze those glutes up, gently close the ribs, and then exhale. Just set your hips right down to your mat, guys. Good. Let's roll to our sides. Roll on up and get into position for cat stretch. I think this one's going to feel really, really good today. So let's get into our quadruped position. Remember, the heels of your hands are just right underneath your shoulders. Your knees are right underneath your hip joints. If you have hyperextended elbows, make sure to have that tiny little break in the elbows. Right, a little bit of scapular protraction for this one, okay? I'm gonna have us all look straight down at our mats, feeling that neutral spine position. Let's take an inhale. As we exhale, draw our belly buttons up towards the ceiling, sending the tailbone and sits bones and crown of the head through the floor. And then inhale back to neutral. Exhale, let's drop the belly button down. Lift the crown of the head, lift the tailbone, lift the sits bones, and then back to neutral. And then once again, exhaling into flexion, inhaling to neutral, exhaling into extension, and back to neutral. Let's take one more rep in each direction, flexing the spine and finding neutral, and extending the spine and coming back to neutral. And that did feel good. Let's do a little bit of bird dog, guys, just to kind of rebalance the body. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, let's reach our right arm, extend it out, and extend the left leg behind us, and come back to our quadruped. And then we'll reverse that. Extend the left arm, send the right leg behind you. And back. I'm actually feeling a little bit of quiver with this one today. And back to quadruped and reach and in. it's amazing how this one can feel harder to one side than to the other side and bring it in this will be our last one guys reaching and coming back in let's all sit back on our heels let's actually come to a little child's pose this time guys bring your big toes together open your knees slightly and bring your belly all the way down towards your thighs just rest your forehead towards your mat really reach your fingertips right out ahead of you. Get that nice stretch through the armpits, through the side of the body. Take a couple of nice deep breaths and then scoop the pelvis under and roll up. Good guys, I have one more exercise only for us today and that's breast stroke. Okay, so we get a little bit more spinal extensor work. I think we really all need it. It'll be a short set, I promise. So we're gonna walk forward into our prone position. Remember, breaststroke, right, starts with the legs just slightly wider than our mat. A little bit of lateral rotation to those legs. So we're gonna turn the legs out slightly, gently point the toes, all right? Our arms are gonna start in the goal post position, right? My forehead is on my mat, and I'm really feeling my co-contraction, and I have active gluteal muscles, active hamstrings in this position. Let's all start with an inhale breath. As we exhale, I want you to reach and extend those arms out in front of you. Come to your hover spine position. Inhale, circle the arms out and then back towards your hips and come into extension. And we go again. Exhale and lengthen and come back into your inhale breath. And exhale into hover spine. Inhale into extension. And let's take three more and reach, and two more, and reach. And this will be our last one, guys. We're gonna take a little four count hold at the end of this one. Let's hold, two, three, four. Come back to goal post position. Draw your legs together, slide your hands to your shoulders, and come back into your shell stretch position. Okay, sitting on your heels, scooping the bellies away from your thighs, Let's take an inhale breath, exhale, roll, and stack the spine. Good guys, just turn and face your screens. Choose your leg position. Take an inhale breath, take your head over to the right, 
And exhale, circle it around. And we'll take that again. Just releasing any tension that may have accumulated in the neck and shoulders. Let's take that to the other side. And just roll it forward. And we'll take that again. Bring it all the way around and back to center. Couple shoulder rolls back. Couple of shoulder rolls forward. Okay guys, we made a great start today. We'll keep this going. Just remember, hang in there. I love you and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.